They told you what happened. Did you do anything at all to provoke these guys? Like what? Were you flirting with them? Dad. Zoe, you flirt with guys. Yes, Dad, I am 19 years old. I was not flirting with these guys. And even if I was, it certainly wasn't justification for their behavior. So what were you doing? I went to the bar to get a drink. What the hell were you doing drinking? I was getting a drink for CJ. And I'll help your protection. No. Yes. Dad. Starting tomorrow. I'm starting college in a month. Well, you'll have plenty of friends to walk you to class. I don't want this, Dad. Zoe. We talked about this. I am entitled to this part of my life. You're getting this part of your life. I'm entitled to a normal... Oh, please. Don't oh, please me. Look, the Secret Service... The Secret Service school. should worry about you getting shot. They are worried about me getting shot. I'm worried about me getting shot. But that is nothing compared to how terrified we are of you. You scare the hell out of the Secret Service, Zoe, and you scare the hell out of me, too. My getting killed would be bad enough. But that is not the nightmare scenario. The nightmare scenario, sweetheart, is you getting kidnapped. You go out to a bar or a party in some club, and you get up to go to the restroom, somebody comes up from behind, puts their hand across your mouth, and whisks you out the back door. You're so petrified, you don't even notice the bodies of two secret service agents lying on the ground with bullet holes in their heads. Then you're whisked away in a car. It's a big party with lots of noise and lots of people coming and going. And it's a half hour before someone says, Hey, where's Zoe? Another 15 minutes before the first phone call. It's another hour and a half before anyone even thinks to shut down all the airports. Now we're off to the races. You're tied to a chair in a cargo shack somewhere in the middle of Uganda. And I am told that I have 72 hours to get Israel to free 460 terrorist prisoners. So I'm on the phone pleading with Ben Yabin, and he's saying, I'm sorry, Mr. President, but Israel simply does not negotiate with terrorists, period. It's the only way we can survive, so now we got a new problem. Because this country no longer has a commander-in-chief, it has a father who's out of his mind because this little girl is in a shack somewhere in Uganda with a gun to her head! Do you get it? I want you to have common, everyday experiences with girls your own age. But don't ever forget, this is a privilege. And it is an experience that must be cherished beyond measure. And proper protection and security, though at times I admit it's a drag, is never too high a price to pay. You're right. I'm sorry. It's all right, sweetheart. It's all right. Sweetheart.